assist to provide supplementary support or aid. As a solo content creator, I rely heavily on technology to assist me, from keyboards for writing, to AI for titles, to cameras for visuals. But one thing remains a tedious process, both for myself and many creators, editing. And that's where this bad boy comes in. Could this device be the key to creating a more efficient and streamlined content creation process? Only one way to find out. This is the Fifine Ampligame D6 controller. It's a customizable macro tool that's designed to improve workflow efficiency, whether that be streaming, graphics design, or media editing. It's got 15 LCD macro buttons, all of which are programmable. The LCD display is nice and bright as well. The buttons aren't stabilized, so I do have to make sure it bottoms out to activate it, which is kind of annoying, but not a huge deal. The top of the base is thicker to provide a better viewing angle, and beneath it is rubber lining to prevent the device from sliding around. The overall build quality is plasticky but solid with no creaks. And for a little flair, it does have a strip of RGB. And I think that summarizes the hardware pretty well. And now onto the more important part, the software. The software is quite feature heavy. Customizations range from something simple, like opening an app, to more complex macros like mouse clicks on a specific spot of your screen. You can set different scenes for different apps, which the software can automatically recognize and switch to. And there's also a marketplace to download presets for other tools like Adobe Creator Suite. Connecting a button to a macro is pretty simple, with an easy drag and drop process. So if at this point, you want to get your hands on the Fifine D6, it will set you back roughly $79. This actually places it in the budget space compared to other similar devices like Elgato and the one that I already have, this Loop Deck CT. Now, I don't think it would be fair to directly compare the two since the Loop Deck is obviously a significantly more premium and expensive product with way more features but I will use the Loop Deck as a baseline for evaluating the fee fines value for money. So here's why I think brands like Loop Deck outshine the fee fine. Ease of access. For example, while both brands have plugins and presets for the Adobe Creative Suite, fee fine is missing the one for DaVinci. That doesn't necessarily mean that all is lost, it just means that the user has to spend that extra time recording and creating the necessary shortcuts manually in the software to be able to use it for DaVinci. And this will likely be true for a ton of other programs as well. Devices like these also require tons of support from the community, as a lot of the plugins are developed by independent software engineers. Loop Deck and Elgato have established communities, whereas Fifine still needs to develop the space. Finally, the D6 doesn't have dials of any sort, so any type of fine tuning style adjustments would be impossible. With that being said, I would still recommend this tool over others 90% of the time. And here's why. The capabilities of the Fifine compared to other brands is essentially the same. In fact, when looking at the bare bones software features of Elgato, Loop Deck, and Fifine, it's pretty much the same. And most people aren't doing insanely complex things like advanced color grading or professional editing, so there's no need to pay the premium when this guy can achieve it in less than half the price. Of all the macro boards out there, I think Fifine has nailed that cost to value ratio. If you're looking for something that can streamline your high level general editing work, then I definitely would recommend this tool over its competitors. However, if you are looking for something more specific and intensive, such as color grading, then I think you're going to have to look in a higher price bracket. But at the end of the day, just do some quick research. Understand what capabilities you need and whether the macro board already has a preset for the software that you will be using. If you enjoyed the cinematic look at the Fifine D6, please give a like and subscribe. And feel free to comment any other questions you have about this device. Thanks for watching, and as always, see you in the next one.